Well, everyone, just a quick video on the DC40 receiver project that I started posting about in December 2018. And uh, it is now 100% complete. And uh, let me show you what we've got going on here. Uh, the main board here is the actual DC40 receiver. And you can find details on my blog, miss.geek.com, link below. And this board is a, a bandpass filter switching board. That bandpass filter switching board is controlled by a QRP Labs VFO kit, which has a channel or band switching based on upper and lower band limits, and uh, or actually upper band, upper or lower band limits. In this case, I have it programmed so that over 13 megahertz, it switches to the B filter, and below 13 megahertz, it switches to the A filter, and those are 7 and 14 megahertz filters. And over here, and that's by, by way of a relay, by the way, over here we've got the Spider LM386 safely tucked out of the way so it doesn't get damaged. And then eight AA's to power the entire thing. And those eight AA's live and those eight AA's live here. And this is technically the bottom of the case. And so uh, this is an AM FM, Panasonic AM FM uh, cassette radio, uh, clock radio of all things. And so um, let me show you what it looks like together and powered on and listening to Japan on 40 meters. Got Japan coming in on 40 this morning on my uh, DC 40 receiver. Thought I would share it with you. And uh, 40, uh, Japan's coming in pretty clearly there. There's not a lot of, not a lot of amplification in this radio. Uh, I should probably fix that, but I am too lazy to do so. <laughs> uh, but it works. And this is an old Panasonic uh, AM FM tape deck clock radio from like the late 80s, early 90s. And I've given it new life uh, as a 40 meter and 20 meter direct conversion receiver. So there you have the DC40 project complete. Thank you so much for following along. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the entire project. I know I really did and I learned a ton. Um, so make sure to check out the blog post link. The link is below and make sure to subscribe, which is somewhere up here, up here. I don't know. This whole camera thing is hard, but uh, it's up there. Make sure you subscribe and click the little icon so you get notifications. Uh, and then subscribe to the blog too, miss.geek.com. That's in the upper right hand corner of the blog, which is here for me. Anyway, it says subscribe on it, so uh, presumably you can read and figure it out. <laughs> it's on the right side of the page. So uh, go check it out and uh, read all the stuff about the DC-40 and uh, the journey that it has taken me on. I hope you enjoy it. 73 to you.